guys, welcome to part two of my lipstick review. If you missed the first video, you can check it out. It's already posted on my channel. This is the second part. And we're gonna be talking about different lipsticks and different brands, different shades, different colors. They're gonna be darker, bolder shades, good for a night out, or if you wanna make a really bold statement. So excited to get started, let's talk lipstick. The first lip color I'm gonna show you is by Bite Beauty. Here it is, and this is a lip gloss. This is what it looks like. It's a burnt orangey color. Um, it's really great for fall. Um, and the applicator is really nice. It's a little, uh, it's a sponge, and it's angled upwards, so it's super easy to apply. It goes on really smooth. Glosses can be kind of iffy, you know? Uh, they can get gross or gloopy or gloppy or whatever, and this does not get like that. It goes on smooth, it stays smooth. Um, it's not too sticky. It actually has a nice little aroma. It kind of smells like lemon, so just like a little bit. So it doesn't even smell weird. It's a really, really nice lip gloss. Um, if I could recommend any lip gloss, this would definitely be um, probably my number one recommendation. It's really, really awesome. The shade is called Pear, P-A-R-E. And the actual, like what it's actually called is Bite Beauty Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip. I hope I said that right. <laughs> the second one I have is kind of a similar color. It's more ready. It's very bold, very bright. It makes a statement. It's also a gloss and it's more of an investment money-wise, but it might be worth it for some of you out there. This is Chanel and let's see what it's called. It's Rouge Cocoa Gloss and 752 is what it is called. It's beautiful. It's such a great gloss. Um, it goes on very smooth, it looks great, it's shiny, it's everything that you'd want in a gloss. It comes out just beautifully. The applicator is rounded and it dispenses just the perfect amount um, for your lip. You only have to dip it in twice and it covers everything. Um, it's also great because it has this like little kind of glittery gold flakes in it, but it's not a glittery gloss. Um, it's very sophisticated. You can wear it to work. It feels great. It looks great. I love the packaging too. It's very simple, but very elegant. Um, so yeah, this is Chanel 752. Number three is red. Finally, we're getting to a nice, bold, beautiful red. And if you're looking for the perfect red, I would definitely turn to Fenty by Rihanna. It is Rihanna's line. The actual shade, it's called Madame. So a little bit of fancy French there. I have some issues sometimes with certain lipsticks. They just they're kind of hard to actually put on. This one I don't, it's small enough and it has that really nice um, kind of curve to it. So it goes on easy, it stays on. I literally wear this, I apply it once, maybe twice at the very end of the night if I have an event. It just has this really great rich color. Um, it's not drying, it's moisturizing, I'm like trying to feel it right now. It, it, but it, it dries so it doesn't feel like wet or like it's gonna smudge, but it's not drying. The next one is Marc Jacobs, and I'm really excited about this one. This is a lipstick that I'm really passionate about. Um, it's a really beautiful purpley shade, but I have a lot of shades from him and they're all really, really wonderful. This particular shade is called Willful, and it's just Marc Jacobs uh, lip cream lipstick line, but I am obsessed about, about his lipsticks. Um, first of all, the packaging is amazing. It has this magnet, so it just really snaps in. It's not gonna come off in your purse. It's not gonna come off accidentally. It's secure, it's fun to click and to play with. Whenever I eat, I almost always am guaranteed to get lipstick on my chin or somewhere else. Usually it's like right here on the crease of my chin and it's just this problem that I have. I always carry a little concealer stick with me because I'm like, if I eat and it gets on my chin, I have to clear it off. His does not do that. Like, dead serious, I have eaten meals with it on, I have had it on all day, the color lasts, it doesn't transfer, it's a little bit more pricey, but I do think it's worth it if you really want just like one or two solid lipsticks that you know you can count on, that you know is gonna stay on and not get all over your face when you're eating. It's just been kind of like this miracle lipstick that I'm like, ah. Lipstick color number five is Bare Minerals. It is a matte lip gloss. The shade I have on is Devious. This is what it looks like right there. It applies, I wanna say it's kind of velvety. Like it really goes on smooth. This color is just beautiful. It's like a wine as you can see. And I would definitely, definitely recommend this. It's a really, really good lip gloss for the price and for also how much that you get, which is key. My next lip color is really similar to the last one I had on, um, except I think the last one was a little bit more purpley, and this one is a little more ready. <laughs> it's a little more burgundy, um, and the texture is very different. This is Milk Makeup, and it's just their lip pencil. The shade is Dip Out. It's a little bit of a newer brand, um, but I really like it. Um, I think that it's just a really great 
lip color if you want something that's creamy but also stays really well. It's kind of like a stain but it goes on like a lipstick and kind of like a pencil. And so yeah, that is Milk Makeup. The last lipstick I'm going to show you is pretty dark. It's plum. And I don't know if you can tell but you might notice there's kind of this red ring around my lips. Um, that is because I have now officially tried on 13 lip colors and then also taken them off. So by this point my lips are pretty irritated but this is NARS and it is beautiful. It is just a regular run-of-the-mill cream lipstick and I love the shade. The actual shade is called Live. It's pretty dark um, but I think that's really great for fall especially or winter. I don't have other NARS lipsticks. This is the only one but I like it a lot and as you can see, it is very dramatic. So if you want to go for that, then this is the color and the brand to get. All right, guys, that is all the lipstick I have for you for now. If you didn't get a chance to check out video number one, you can still do that. It is here on my channel. Let me know if you liked this video and if you want to see other things like this or something different. I know I've done more like fashion-y things in the past. Let me know what you want to see. And also, if you want to see more fashion, more outfit of the day inspiration, you can go to my blog, Cat's Fashion Fix, to check that out. I have all fashion all the time up there. Please subscribe to my channel if you like what you saw and I can't wait to see you guys next time.